Imagine our planet on a racetrack around the sun. For billions of years, we've orbited at roughly the same pace with our familiar moon circling us. Now picture another runner, much smaller, much dimmer, joining the lap, slightly off to the side yet keeping almost the same speed. That's what 2025 PN7 is doing. Throughout Earth's history, our planet has had several such extra companions, tiny asteroids that for short spells join our orbit around the sun and appear from our perspective to be near us. These are not true moons in the sense of being gravitationally locked to Earth, but they still spend time in our neighborhood. For example, a body called 2024 PT5 became a temporary captured object near Earth for a few months. What makes 2025 PN7 special is that it appears to be one of the more long-lived companions of this type. So, what exactly is 2025 PN7? How did it get here? How long it will stick around? And most importantly, will it have any impact on Earth? Scientists are also considering whether this object might have any influence on the upcoming close flybys of asteroids Apophis and 2024 YR4. 2025 PN7 was discovered in August 2025 using the PanSTARRS telescope on Hawaii. Archival data suggests it's been lurking in a nearly Earth-synced orbit for many decades. Some estimates go back around 60 years or more. According to current estimates, this object is very small, roughly 19 meters in diameter, about the size of a modest house. But surprisingly, its orbit is very Earth-like. The semi-major axis is about 1.003 astronomical units very close to Earth's. Its orbital eccentricity is about 0.108, and its inclination is only around 2 degrees. Because its orbit is so similar to Earth's, it falls into a special class of asteroids called Arjuna asteroids, objects that share Earth's orbital path around the Sun very closely. But it is not a true Earth moon like our familiar moon. It is not gravitationally bound to Earth. Instead, it is bound to the Sun just like Earth is. What makes it appear to pair up with Earth is that it orbits the Sun in almost exactly the same time Earth does about one year, and it weaves around in a way that keeps it in Earth's neighborhood. This kind of arrangement is called a quasi-satellite or quasi-moon orbit. The way the motion works, think of Earth and the asteroid as two runners on nearly parallel tracks. Sometimes the asteroid is a little ahead of Earth, sometimes a little behind. Sometimes it drifts outward, sometimes inward a bit. Over time, from Earth's viewpoint, the asteroid might appear to slowly loop around us. But really, it is chasing the sun just like we are and simply staying near our path. Because both objects complete a lap in roughly the same time, the asteroid keeps showing up in our front yard, so to speak. The differences in speed, orbital distance, and sun-gravity tug cause subtle drift that keeps things dynamic. One helpful metaphor quoted by observers, it's a wolf that follows a camp of hunters, but doesn't actually join them. As for how long it will stay in this role, current best estimates suggest 2025 PN7 will continue being in this quasi-moon arrangement with Earth until around the year 2083. After that, gradual gravitational interactions mainly from the Sun and Earth, and perhaps other planets are likely to change its path so that it breaks away or shifts into a different kind of orbit, for example, a horseshoe orbit. So for roughly the next 60 years or so, our planet will have this extra little companion. Now having doesn't mean we'll see a second bright moon in the sky. It means astronomers will track it, and it will remain dynamically tied to us in this special way. Now the question is, how did it get into this arrangement? The truth is, we don't know all the details yet. Because 2025 PN7 is small and faint, it evaded detection until recently. The fact that archival data suggest it's been nearby for decades means it quietly slipped into this orbit long ago. 
Scientists propose that bodies like this can originate in various ways. Some might come from the main asteroid belt. Others might be fragments ejected from the moon or from Earth-crossing asteroid impacts. In fact, a recent simulation study suggests that impact ejecta from the moon could evolve into co-orbital objects of Earth, including quasi-satellites. That means it's possible that 2025 PN7 or others like it started out as material blasted off the moon thousands or millions of years ago, then drifted and ended up locked into this Earth-synced orbit. But that origin story is still speculative. What we do know is that its orbital parameters place it firmly in the Arjuna class, with an orbit that is unusually Earth-like. But wait, here's the most interesting thing about this object. Now, there are other asteroids coming by Earth in the future like Apophis, due for a close approach in 2029, and 2024 YR4 making its flyby around 2032. Apophis is expected to come as close as about 32,000 kilometers from Earth's surface. That's closer than many of our geostationary satellites orbiting above us. Meanwhile, 2024 YR4 is estimated to be about 67 meters across, and scientists currently calculate it has about a 4% chance of crashing into the moon in 2032. Because 2025 PN7 is hanging around Earth's orbit, you might wonder, could it interfere with or affect these flybys? Well, yes, there is a possibility, but the probability is extremely low. Since 2025 PN7 will be near Earth for a long stretch and the other asteroids will also pass by Earth, in principle, there is a chance that their paths could interact in a way where PN7 nudges one of them slightly. But PN7 is very small. Its gravitational pull is tiny compared with the huge masses involved. For it to have a meaningful effect, it would need to pass extremely close to another asteroid within a few hundred meters, which current orbit calculations show is very unlikely. The upcoming flybys like Apophis in 2029 are analyzed and predicted with high precision. PN7 is in a different kind of orbit. Though near Earth, it isn't on a collision course or on the exact same radar path as the large flyby asteroids, so things don't line up for interference. In short, 2025 PN7 is an interesting guest in Earth's orbital neighborhood, and while it could affect future asteroid flybys, the odds are so small that it's far from a concern. Scientists will keep tracking all these objects and refining our predictions.